Hello, and welcome to the debut episode of Healing with Tony. Just like life, healing is a journey that you take. Whether you have an emotional, me- physical, mental, or otherwise ailment that you would like to heal. During this show, I'm going to take the opportunity to explain some alternative healing modalities to you. Not only am I going to explain some of them, but I will also show them to you. Let you see the way these modalities work, whether I'm the healer doing the work or I have a guest healer doing the work. My intention is to take the woo-woo out of alternative healing and make it more mainstream, bring a broader understanding so that you can reach out and use these modalities to help you on this journey of life. Today, I'm going to be doing a mini hypnosis session with Danny. Hi, Danny. How are you today? Good. How are you? Excellent. I'm so excited you're here for the debut show. Thanks for having me. Absolutely my pleasure. Danny, you agreed (laughs) (laughs) to let me do a mini hypnosis session on you today to uh, help you in an area of your life, but also help everybody who is watching. Absolutely. Yeah. So hypnosis, really quick, you know, we have our patterns and our habits in life. But we want to, there might be a habit or a pattern we want to get rid of, like um, smoking or we feel stuck or we want more self-confidence, but we keep running a repeat program. What hypnosis does is it helps you bypass that repeat program, go to the area where programs are made, known as the subconscious Mm -hmm. part of the mind, and reestablish a new program that will eventually kick out the program that you no longer want. You know, I wanted that to sound so simple, but I think I made it sound (laughs) more complicated. It made sense to me. Excellent. (laughs) Perfect. So we're going to get started. And um, what is it that you would like to work on today? What would you like help with? Um, Well, you kind of hit at it, I'm kind of stuck in a transition right now, and it's probably based on fear. Okay, excellent. So we're going to work on that today. Now, I'm not going to do the therapy method of this session. I'm going to do the suggestion method of this session along with the exercises. Those who are watching at home, if if you're stuck in an area of your life, sit back, relax, close your eyes. We're going to get started in a few seconds here. Danny, I want you to get as comfortable as you can. I want you to sit back. If you're at home, you can lie back. And I want you to allow your eyes to close softly and gently. And as your eyes close softly and gently, I want you to take slow, deep breaths in and allow those breaths to release softly and gently. I would like you to take those breaths in and follow that air all the way down. And as you release that breath, I want you to follow that breath all the way out. I want you to know that any noises you hear, any noises at all, will simply take you deeper and deeper into that state of hypnosis. People talking, phones ringing, doors opening and closing will simply take you deeper and deeper into that state of hypnosis. As a matter of fact, the sound of my voice, one word building upon the next, will take you deeper and deeper down. In a moment, I'm going to count from three, down, two, one. When I reach one, you're going to be in a very relaxed, very comfortable state of hypnosis. 
With each count, you'll simply go a thousand times deeper. As a matter of fact, each and every time I count three, two, or one, you'll simply go a thousand times deeper into relaxation. Let's try that now just to see how it feels. Three, two, one. Perfect. Now as you go deeper and deeper and deeper down, I want you to know that with every breath you take in and every breath you take out, you'll become more and more relaxed. So relaxed, as a matter of fact, your shoulders will fall just a bit. So relaxed, your eyes will become more comfortable. So relaxed, your arms will gently relax even deeper. In a moment, I'm going to count from three down, two, one, again. When I reach one, we will release anything stopping you or blocking you from moving forward in this area. This area that you feel stuck. Now deep down, you know the right thing and the right path to take. I want you to think about the situation lightly. And as I count from three down, two, one, all the hurdles, all the blocks will disappear, dissipate, just dissolve. In three, two, one, and as these dissolve, as they disappear, I want you to use your imagination and I want you to imagine, I want you to see a home. In a moment, we're going to walk into this home. There will be a big room. You will clear everything out of this room. Everything that's in this room, you will clear it out a big back patio door. It'll all fall into a dumpster. So come, let's open the door of this home now. As you open the door, you feel a feeling you know what needs to be done here. So you go to the back patio door. You slide it open. You realize anything could fit through this back patio door. As you start moving things out, you notice they glide easily into the dumpster waiting. They glide easily and some things are even going on their own. You clear everything out of this room. Even if it looks like something of value, you know it's time to let it go. So you clear it all out. Once everything is cleared, simply say, okay. As you're clearing it, I want you to know you're feeling lighter, healthier, and happier. Letting all of this go is rejuvenating and energizing. It's empowering to let go of what no longer works in your life, to let go of what you no longer need, what you no longer want. 
to make room for what's new and beautiful, to open the path to a bright future. Take all the time you need, and once the room is cleared, simply say, okay. As you're clearing, make sure you get any and all corners. Those little corners can hide those little things. We need to make sure we even clean out the corners. Good, perfect. Now I want you to give the dumpster the sign to go and take all of this with you. And as it does, what caused this simply begins to dissolve, dissipate, disappear now and forever as you feel lighter and lighter, like a big load has been lifted from you. As you turn and look at the room, you realize that the roof is coming off of this room and this house, and bright light is shining in. And as the bright light shines in, you feel that light on your face, in your heart, and on your shoulders. That light is rejuvenating, regenerating, re-energizing every ounce of your being, every cell, every muscle, every ounce of your being. As you enjoy this feeling, you realize the walls are coming down, and that's a good thing. That's a beautiful thing. All those old walls that blocked everything in and compartmentalized it are all coming down. And as this sun shines on you, you feel old patterns, programs, beliefs dissolving, and you might even see little puffs of black energy leaving. You notice that without a shadow of a doubt, something is changing, something big. You feel a freedom and a strength you didn't have before. Oftentimes, feeling stuck is a lack of confidence and strength. So now that the walls have dissolved, along with all that caused them, you notice you're in the middle of a dynamic, beautiful field. And you see there's an area to farm rich, beautiful soil. So you walk over and you see seeds. These are the seeds of your future. In a moment, we're going to take each bag of seeds and plant them. It's very important to do this. For this is what is inside of you that has been covered and we're uncovering and strengthening. The first bag of seeds is self-confidence. Throughout lifetime, we can feel our confidence waver. I want you to pick up this bag of seeds and I want you to plant these seeds now deep within you let them grow strong roots that they may not be taken down again. 
And you're going to notice that as you plant these seeds of confidence, immediately they begin to sprout because the soil is so rich and that light is so strong from above. Every day you will feed these seeds by acknowledging your worth and your value. The next bag of seeds that we are going to plant our inner strength and empowerment. So let's pick up that bag of seeds now and plant those in that soil. Now you're, you might notice there are more seeds in this bag. I want you to just plant each and every one of these seeds. Make sure you don't miss one. And again, immediately, you notice these seeds sprouting and growing. Growing through each and every ounce of your being. Giving you the strength and the power to make the choices and decisions that you want to make and that you need to make. And as they grow, you literally feel it through every ounce of your being, knowing that in life, if we don't have confidence and strength, we definitely will have trouble moving forward. So you allow these seedlings to grow into strong plants and trees within you. And as they do, you feel yourself becoming more confident, stronger, and healthier, knowing that with each and every day, in every way, everything is better and better. With each and every day, in every way, you feel stronger, healthier, and happier. Now we have one more bag of seeds, and this is self-love. This is that unconditional love for self and others. I would like you to take that bag and plant those seeds now and instantly big, beautiful, huge flowers envelop you from the inside out. That pureness, that love. And as it does, you feel yourself allowing all that is not love to melt away. Your mind is clearer, you're stronger, and you're ready. As each and every one of these seedlings grows within you, opening into every cell, creating peace, harmony, strength, and confidence within you, you allow yourself to become the person you want to be, to go down the path you would like to go down. I want you to know, as each one of these grows stronger and stronger within you with each and every day in every way everything is getting better and better in every day in every way 
you're healthier, happier, and more confident. You allow yourself to move forward in a healthy, happy, productive way. You allow yourself to move forward in what's best for you and for your family. You know with each and every day you're more at peace with yourself and with the world. You allow yourself to shine brightly, to love unconditionally, and to be who you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be that person. You understand that moving forward in your life each and every area is a part of spiritual evolvement. It is a part of a bigger plan. So you allow yourself to take the steps necessary and move forward at the appropriate times needed. With each and every day, your self-confidence, self-love, and self-esteem get stronger and stronger. As you move forward, you feel healthier, stronger, and happier, more confident in each and every decision that you make with each and every step that you take. You no longer waver because you have a knowing deep inside of you of what's right, what's wrong, and the direction that you are to be in, not only for yourself, but for those you love. You look at every decision as if it were a business decision. Is this a good move? Or is this move a bad move? Will this help flourish or not? In making those decisions in that way, you will not waver and you will do what you know needs to be done. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. When I reach five, you'll be wide awake, right back here, feeling absolutely wonderful in every way. One. Your awareness is coming back to the room now. Two. Your awareness is coming back to your body. You're starting to wake up. Three. Your eyes are starting to open. You're starting to stretch out your arms and your legs. Hi. Four. Eyes completely open. <laughs> back here now. And five. Wide awake. Feeling absolutely Wonderful. Hey, welcome Hi. back. Hi. How was that? It was it was good. Some of the things were um, very uh, um, enlightening. There were a lot of things that moved out of the room themselves. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Like you get in there and there's this stuff that's just waiting for the opportunity mm -hmm. to jump ship, so mm -hmm. to say, to just get out. And when given that opportunity... It just moves out of the room on its right. own. Right. It's absolutely amazing. So was there anything that didn't want to go or you were holding on to like, oh? No, there, was, there were closet things and whatever, but there was like a stream of papers that just kept going and going and going. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, so that was kind of neat. That's so good. So how did it feel to be in hypnosis it's it's um it's kind of like a light sleep um 
it's not, I mean, you're here, but you're kind of, you know, and the visualization helps a lot. Yeah. Because you kind of, you're taking yourself into a different space. And, you know, during hypnosis, you have complete control over everything, which a lot of people aren't aware of. Mm -hmm. And it is that state between awake and Mm -hmm. asleep. You could get up and walk out a little stumbly or groggly, but you could do it. Or you could go deeper if you wanted to. Well, my ankle kept, the way I had my ankle, it kept bugging me. I was like, (laughs) so I could still feel my, you know, everything that's going on. Yeah, it's it's such an amazing, relaxing place mm-hmm. to be and such an amazing, comfortable way to let go of things mm-hmm. that are no longer useful to us, right? The interesting thing was that when I got to the garden, everything was already planted. I didn't have to, it was already in rows. I didn't have to plant anything. How lucky for you. How lucky. Well, Danny, it's been such an honor to have you on, to have you participate in this Uh, session and I hope it was as wonderful for you as it was for me because I I love that I absolutely (laughs) love that so thank you so much for being here on the debut show and um, and participating in this way absolutely you're welcome it's fun I'm so happy it was you too because I just I love you so much Mm -hmm. (laughs) absolutely And I want to thank you for joining us today for this debut issue, or episode rather, (laughs) of Healing with Tony. As you see, hypnosis can be a very useful tool to help you let go of what no longer works, as well as bring in more of what you truly want in your life, whether that's self-love, self-confidence, Um, If you want to let go of something like smoking or extra pounds, whatever it is you want to bring in or let go of, hypnosis can be a very helpful, helpful alternative way to do it. And there are no negative side effects. (laughs) Thank you so much for joining us on this debut episode. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day.